beach. I bet that beach will feel good today. I'll say, and is it hot? Hey, Mom, look. My freckles are even getting freckles on them. Jackie, that's dirt. Oh, Mom. Hey, Pop, hurry up. Don't shout so, dear. He's talking on the phone to Mrs. Stanbo. Correction, Mr. Irvin is just listening. Mrs. Stanbaugh is doing all the talking. Well, can't he hang up on her? We'll never get to the beach. You don't hang up on the president of the PTA, not if you're a smart school principal. Oh, there you are, dear. What's the matter? Anything wrong? Oh, everything's just dandy. Thanks to dear Mrs. Stambo, instead of cooling off at the beach, I have to stay here in this sweltering hot box and wait for a Professor Vigelschmidt. Vigelschmidt? Some inventor friend of hers. She wants him to show me a gadget she thinks will fit in with our science curriculum. Anyway, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Well, we can still go, can't we? Mom can drive. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Have fun. Leave your so poor old... Bye, dear. Well, how do you like that? Fine thing. Here I am stuck with a crackpot on the hottest day of the year, and my family goes off to the beach and leaves me nobody. Gives it. All right, all right. Beagle Schmidt. Mr. Kerbin? Yes, I told the name is Irwin. Yes, I... Mr. Vermin, you come right away with me. Now, to wait get it here. Wait, oh, oh, you... Standing outside and maybe oh, getting punished. Oh, look, but as Mrs. Stumbau said, uh, you will cooperate, will you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, now, I, I yes. have in here something, but you, ne you know why? What? I'm a scientist. Yes. Well, this is the most wonderful thing what scientists has ever invented, and I'm the invention of this invention. Oh, when I'll show you the huh? greatest thing in the world for mankind. There it is. I put it on you, uh -huh. and you wait here now. Uh -huh. Now, you see this here? That is a Wigger Schmidt masterpiece. Well, what is it? A dead octopus? <laughs> oh, no, you made a funny. You put it on. Now, get the right foot. Put it foot on. No, no, no. Yeah, the the left foot in the front. Why not you don't no, want to no, put it on? No, no, no. It's too hot. Ah, you said it. That's the whole thing. This is the coolness. Makes you cool. Cool? Did you say cool? Well, yeah. let's talk about that. Cool, I can understand. All right, all right. This is the most wonderful coolness to human. This is the only suit. Listen here what I say, which is aquadromic thermonegator in the whole world. Yeah. And so simple to attachment. Well, now, wait a minute, yeah. Professor. You see, you take the hose, yeah. and it goes on the faucet in the kitchen. You know what's in the faucet? But yeah. comes out the water like so. Yeah. When it goes around, it circulates the water uh -huh. and the yeah. coolness here, and comes out and makes you so nice and cool. You like that? Yeah. And we're already with a continuation. Get to my friend. Please sit down. I explain you the whole thing. You see the water from the faucet? comes in there, it goes around and around, and it comes out here. You see? Oh. Now, my friend, you sit down. Relax. Quiet. Close your eyes. Feel the coolness what it goes in here. This lovely water circulating around to make you comfortable. Well, now I know you don't water lawn hot weather like this. So cool you could doze off, yes? It's wonderful, no? As the great scientist Kronstein, Kronstein said, <laughs> getting a little sleepy myself. Of course, there are occasions. I could put a thermostat on. Stop. Stu, what a crackpot that guy is. You don't have to go to all that trouble to keep cool. What you need is a breeze. Remember that hot afternoon when you were out in the backyard and you talked Willie into fanning you? That breeze felt wonderful and you were cool until a bee stung Willie. Without that breeze, you felt hot again. Actually, the temperature hadn't changed, but a blanket of heat formed around you and you felt hot until you started to fan yourself you created a breeze that blew away the blanket of heat. It's the same with you here, Stu. Even in that suit, there's a blanket of hot air surrounding you. What you need is a breeze blowing on you. Now, suppose you had a fan in the room. Come on, Stu, dream your way out of that thing for a minute. Let me show you something. There, that's better. This is the simplest type of fan. It sets up a circulation of air in the room and keeps you cool. Now this principle of complete room circulation is the basis of advanced fan design. 
such as this hassock fan which creates a fountain of moving air that sets up a gentle circulation throughout the entire room keeps everybody cool yes a room air circulator is an ideal method of daytime cooling now at night the outside air is cool so what you need to do is get that cool air inside and you can do just that with a window fan ah there you are that's right Stu. it doesn't blow the cool air in it blows the hot air out and draws cool air in through the other windows to take its place a proper size window fan can change the air in a room in seconds and at the same time create circulation in the room that cools everybody but wait if you think this is a good idea here's a portable fan that will do the job even better and easier come on Stu, try it that's right move it over to the window facing out wait a minute hold it Stu. pull it back about three feet from the window yeah that's right. You see, an exhaust fan is much more efficient when it operates about three feet back from the window. That way, it picks up not only the air right around the fan, but the powerful air stream gathers in more air from the side as it travels from the fan to the window. That's right. You know, Stu, this fan is so powerful it can be used to exhaust the hot air from four or five rooms. Just look in the living room. See that cool air flowing in? You can cool off the whole downstairs or all your bedrooms with this one fan. Yes, it's really portable. And I know what you're thinking, and you're right, too. You can wheel this fan to any spot in the house and use it not only for nighttime cooling, but as a room air circulator in the daytime. Really powerful, isn't it? Actually, it has two and a half times the capacity of an average fan this size. That's because of specially designed deep pitch micarta blades and the powerful... Stool. Wait! Yes, but which one? Which one? I can't have a different fan for every different purpose. I... Stu, the answer is simple. One fan that will do every cooling job. The Riviera. Compact, powerful, versatile. That's right, Stu. It may not look like any fan you've ever seen before, but don't let that fool you. This Riviera has an advanced design that makes it completely different from the old conventional fan. See those curved rings around the side? Those are air injector rings that direct the air in from the sides and greatly increase the amount of air moved by the fan. Try that smoke test. It really sucks in the air and throws out a powerful air stream. Now, see those veins on the front? Stu, point it over toward those curtains. This Riviera will outperform fans twice its size. And because of this power and the exclusive design, you can use this fan for any type of cooling, day or night. As a daytime cooler, it directs a powerful stream of air that circulates coolness throughout the whole room. And here's a tip, Stu. Place the fan in a corner, angle it toward the wall, and tilt it up a little. This way, it will give a lively circulation throughout the whole room without annoying drafts. That's right all the way around and talk about versatility just a twist and this Riviera becomes a hassock fan that throws a fountain of air up and around the room to give gentle cool daytime circulation and Stu you seem to be impressed with the principle of nighttime cooling come up in the bedroom come on in Stu now just snap the base of the Riviera onto that window mount mm hmm there you are an intake fan or turn the fan around that's right just a flip and it reverses to become an exhaust fan for nighttime cooling but that's not all get a load of this here's an adapter stand bring in the fan Stu clip it on the stand just as you did the window mount how's that a roll around fan for every purpose what's the matter Stu something wrong Oh, yes, you catch on fast, don't you? As a matter of fact, I'd say you were sold on the right way to keep cool day or night. You see, Stu? Hey, Stu. Mr. Evan, uh, wake up quick. Huh? What is it? What's the matter? What happened? This chef blimp you got on is going to blow up. Blimp? Help! Help! Turn off the water! 
Quick, quick, I'm going to explode. Oh, come. Uh, come, I drain you down with the siphon and the zinc. You saw the zinc, I made him in the alley. Come on, get out of here. stop crying again, Billy. Really. Get up. I make like a drawback football player. Sit down and move. Alligator. All right, all right. I'm from Johnson's Appliance Store, uh, sir, and I'd like to demonstrate. Sir, how would you like to have the refreshing breeze of the Riviera in I'll your home? I'll take it. What? I mean, this fan is the most, most powerful... powerful fan for its size and the most versatile fan I could buy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you can use this fan. I certainly can, as a regular room circulator, as a Hasek fan, or as an exhaust fan for nighttime cooling, and also as an intake fan. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, and how, how would you like a free home trial? Not on your life. I'm buying this fan. Just tell Sam Johnson to send me a bill. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, can I ask you just one question? Certainly. Do you always take a shower with your clothes on? Yes. <laughs> Your poor father cooped up in this hot house all day. Couldn't have been any hotter than we were at the beach. I bet it's cooler in a steam bath. <laughs> <laughs> Well, come on in, folks. Step right up and enjoy a little beach breeze comfort. I finally found the secret. Let me tell you about this Riviera fan. I'll get it. Who is it, Jackie? Mr. Vermin, look what I've got. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. All right, now, don't jump on inclusions. Now, look, Bigger Smith. Now, you wait, because I've got something what I tell you. Mr. Schmervin, I want you to give me your attention and listen to me with your both eyes open. This is my latest breeze ploy. Not only it blows the beautiful breeze, but you get a spray in your face from the ocean, which will be very refreshing. <laughs> now, pay attention and look at that. The Wiegel Schmidt masterpiece. Flight 27, not leaving for miles. Happy landing. 